What is up? I'm out here on a rooftop checking out all the units again and this rooftop happens to have train units and Goodman units competing brands on the same rooftop. So this is a good time to show a little more of a comparison between the brands here. Seriously, uh, people that want to say Goodman is every bit as good as train and there's nothing different except for just what name is on the panel. That's bullshit. Just gotta say it. But uh, for one, just like the panels here on the train, you know, a couple screws and then there's a handle on the panel. Panel comes off. Panels are solid. The metal may not be a lot thicker than what the Goodman is, but the production value of it definitely makes it sturdy. I mean, it's not flimsy. They, they got this uh, rolled over edges here, make it real strong on all the panels. Just the extra, everything, you know, just a little extra touch there compared to what Goodman puts into their units. So you got, uh, and everything comes off on this one side on these. Well, they have been for years. Just that the, the panels are even better now because they have handles on them. So you got your filter rack, and then you got your blower compartments, also where your TXV is. On um, this is a gas pack, so you got the gas access right here, just simple. Another solid panel comes off there. Controls. And of course the compressor compartment there. So solid units. These are precedent units as they're called, these models. Just a little smaller than the Voyagers. Just when I go to maintenance these, I definitely prefer these just because I zip out a couple screws and the panels come off. The panels are solid, yet it only needs two screws per panel. Yeah, then when wait till we go take a look at the Goodman unit. Now the panels are removed on the Goodman unit. <laughs> this is considered a commercial unit. Flimsy as heck. See that they, they don't do the double rolled edges so even if this metal isn't that much thinner look at that it's crap it's crap and they got like 20 screws in each panel maybe not that many but there's a lot just to take these two panels off and, they, and, and the metal so thin it strips out the first time look at the span on that belt there and it needs to be adjusted but dang this is that same one that had to put bearings in already this is a two-year-old unit um, the screws strip out looks like they're popping out again over here that holds so it's no wonder it's loose i mean who the hell uses little tiny screws like this to hold that down idiots i'll say it the designer of this goodman unit is an idiot <laughs> there's your gas section it's pretty mickey mouse to take that cover off around that pipe i didn't even bother taking it off right now so I'm not doing the heating because we're still using cooling here in the valley. The only thing that I do like is that they put the compressor on the outside of the coil. So when you take this cover off right here, um, it's not bypassing the coil with air. So you can run it with this panel off. That's a good thing I like about this design. And the control setup is not too bad right here. This is good for a Goodman. So that part, I'm not going to complain about. That's actually a pretty good design. <laughs> So, but the rest of it, just a flimsy Mickey Mouse wannabe unit. It is what it is. It's for low bid installs. It's a, I wasn't kidding about the metal being chicken shit. Look at that. <laughs> There's no bite to it. And I know you're going to say, oh, you're using an impact drill. But, you know, I do let off when I get there. And I'm using the same thing on the train units. Okay, on this POS Goodman unit. Now I'm going to replace the belt and try to do something to fix up this motor mount bracket thing. I'm going to look at this. Every single one of these units does that. Piece of shit Goodman. And, uh, <laughs> oh man, you should have heard it. I was uh, talking to the manager here and uh, we are just talking about the different units and how they, she still has a couple old carrier units here. And she said they're next, you know, to be on the budget to be replaced. They haven't been, but... They've had a lot of units replaced in which you see the precedent units by train that are up here. Those are good units. And then I said, I noticed a couple, like three of them were uh, Goodman's and she kind of rolled her eyes. <laughs> and she said, uh, yeah, this company try convinced her that these units, Goodman, are the same as train. Everything on the inside is the same. There is no difference. And uh, bid her these units. Now, where have I heard that before? 
<laughs> sadly from some of the HVAC techs here on YouTube and on the forums that for some reason they're just diehard Goodman defenders because for some reason they just like stuff that bids to sell or something but they're just sadly mistaken either that or they just lie and f or feel good about it but they are not the same not the same at all especially when you get into them and you know the quality of the panels like i showed you and the stuff like this instead of using bolts <laughs> like train uses this this is what's holding that bracket down two of these screws and the torque of the belt is pulling up all the time and and then of course you get a little bit of vibrations with the belt especially as it gets worn it just rips those screws right out and you already see that all this sheet metal is just already strips out junk this stuff is junk you can try to defend goodman all you want um you know if you just say hey it's an call it an inexpensive unit you know if to give the customer an option for a more inexpensive unit fine i have no problem with saying that but when people try to say there's no difference between goodman and train you're just full of shit dude sorry <laughs> okay i just got done tapping and screwing in three new screws down there one two three so it's bolted down we'll see if that's still holding when i come back in three months do the service on this unit i got two more of these good ones down on another rooftop and i guarantee you when i open that cover those screws are all going to be popped out and i'm going to have to do the same thing over there yep on the other goodman unit i had to put in some self-tapping screws to get this bolted down again and uh several of these units this insulation's coming down on you never see that on the newer train units just cheap glue on crap on the other pos goodman up here yep same thing the screws are just laying in here loose because they strip right out i mean who the hell thought that that was good <laughs> the secure blower bracket with little chintzy screws gosh oh, now i gotta self tap that what a piece of junk each one of these okay got three new screws tapped into this got that nut back on there had to do that on all three of these this one that one the one on the other roof that are on this uh building and uh we also have the train units over there much better piece of equipment than this by far i mean it's just incomparable i mean i have to go as far as to say if you can say there's nothing different between that unit and these goodman units uh i don't know <laughs> start questioning <laughs> your understanding of quality and design and engineering because uh they're not the same not at all not at all we'll see if these are uh, still holding up when i come here for the next service now back over here on the glorious train unit got the nice panel that comes off rigid panel there with only two screws instead of freaking 20 of them which just strip out on the goodman and then here's the blower section they keep the belt a little shorter tensioner is awesome on these you just loosen this I'm supposed to put a wrench on here but i just stick a screwdriver in there on that cog and just you get the right amount of tension just tighten up the lock nut done and then here's 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 something for the goodman um, engineers bolts these are bolts this is what you secure your blower bracket to the unit with bolts then it's solid it is solid this is not going nowhere yeah